Hello everyone, welcome back to Radiology Math Easy, your all-time favorite YouTube channel. Hello, welcome back everyone for the Radiology Math series. Now, I am going to make a new video on uh, tuberculosis. It is one of the commonest diseases in the world. And uh, now, I am going to uh, make the video on pulmonary TB mainly. So, it actually it can affect any system. The commonest organism is uh, mycobacterium tuberculosis. That's the commonest organism which causes uh, tuberculosis. Actually, it's a multi-system disease, so it can affect any organ in the body. Like commonest organ is lungs. Then next, that is called pulmonary TB. Then the extra pulmonary TB can affect uh, cardiovascular system, brain, spine, central nervous system, and joint immune system gastrointestinal system so any system can affect it, get affected in extra pulmonary TB the main stages are pulmonary uh, primary TB uh, there are mainly uh, consolidations and uh, lymphadenopathy in primary TB so it can affect any part of the lungs but mainly the upper lobes and uh, there's gone's complex formation then post primary TB there's a cavity formation and fibrosis due to uh, reactivation of the primary TB. Then uh, mainly the uh, superior segments, uh, apical regions and posterior segment of the both upper lobes and superior segment of both lower lobes can get affected. The main feature is cavity formation and fibrosis, consolidations and lymphadenopathy can also occur. Then the the sinister one is miliary TB, that means hematogenous spread of the TB. It has poor prognosis. Those are the main three stages in tuberculosis. The complications are aspergilloma formation or mysotoma in a cavity. So there's an intracavitary body. Then bronchiectasis, actually traction bronchiectasis, then emphysema and pleural effusions, empyema and pleural effusions, and uh, fibrothorax. There's fibrosis in the pleural space, then bronchopleural fistula formation causing can cause um, unresolving pneumothorax, then rosmos and aneurysms in the pulmonary arteries. So those are few complications of pulmonary TB. Then I'm going to discuss the imaging features. That's the main idea of this radiology made series. First, I'm going to discuss chest X-ray features. So this is the frontal chest radiograph of the skeletal mature patient. Here you can see the inhomogeneous opacification in the right upper lobe. So there are air bronchial formation here. Yeah. So so it's consolidation in the primary TB. So though there are no cavities and no traction bronchiectasis and uh, so basically it's a lower consolidation in primary TB uh, left lung is normal and uh, no hyalur lymphadenopathy no pleural effusions so this is consolidation next thing is this lymphadenopathy the TB here you can see multiple hyalur prominences and right paratracheal prominence so there's Hyla and uh, mediastinal lymphadenopathy. So now, uh, there are differential diagnosis for this kind of appearance. They are sarcoidosis stage one and uh, lymphoma. Those are few differential diagnosis for this kind of appearance. So uh, lung fields are relatively spared, no effusions. Main thing is thus hyla and mediastinal lymphadenopathy or right paratracheal. The next image is about post primary TB, that's cavity formation. You can see a cavity in the left upper lobe, and there are a few fibrotic changes indicating volume loss. So, here you can see a cavity with a peripheral consolidation. So, there's active TBs, so they are on top of cavity formation. So, there are fibrotic changes here, traction bronchiectasis here dilated bronchi are there no effusions next imaging appearances again same thing 
this is affected more than the previous one so there's fibrosis here there's volume loss in the lungs the diaphragm is shifted upwards and here you can see cavity formation few traction bronchitis is also there here you can see traction bronchitis these are fibrotic areas so basically there's volume loss in the lungs and cavity formation so this is typical post primary tb there's no active infection in this patient next thing is the pleural effusions here you can see a right side pleural effusions you can see the meniscus like appearance obliterated right costophrenic angle so there's pleural effusion and uh, there are no consolidations so high prominences or no fibrosis so no cavity formation the simple pleural effusion probably due to pleural based tb pleural tb can cause pleural effusions next thing is the sinister one with poor prognosis miliary tb there are randomly distributed soft tissue nodules 0.5 to 2 mm you can see multiple nodules in both lungs and their soft tissue density no effusions and uh, there are no reticular type opacity opacifications no pleural effusions no hyaluronephropathy no fibrosis or cavity formation no consolidation the only thing is miliary nodules multiple nodules yeah. uh, then we have to discuss the next step that ct hrct and contrast in ct chest you can see a bronchial formations you can see consolidated area in the upper lobe with pleural effusion there is ground glass appearance there is pleural effusion you can see a consolidated area via space of ossification with the abronchial formation left upper lobe is normal and actually this is char ct then the contrasted and ct chest you can see multiple lymph nodes here yeah you can see multiple superior mediastinal uh, mediastinal lymph nodes and you can see the tracheal bifurcation here and there are mediastinal lymph nodes anterior mediastinum and middle mediastinum and higher lymph nodes are there and they are less enhancing some necrotic areas are there in the center tb and sometimes they can calcify so it's a lymphadenopathy in tb differential diagnosis uh, lymphoma and sarcoidosis in sarcoidosis and lymphoma usually you don't see necrotic nodes yeah this is uh, fibrosis post primary tb you can see fibrotic fibrosis multiple fibrotic bands with dilated bronchi call it traction bronchiectasis you can see traction bronchiectasis multiple yes you can see again traction bron bronchiolectasis actually here yeah. traction bronchiolectasis and fibrotic areas yeah. pleural thickening also you can see next thing is cavity formation here you can see a cavity in the left upper lobe and in mainly the anterior segment so it's a cavity formation and there are associated tree in bud density so so suggest your bronchiolitis it's a cavity tb cavity ground glass opacifications are also there here you can see tree in bud opacifications so it's due to endobronchial spread of tb this is tree in bud appearance due to endobronchial spread of tb so centrilobular nodules are there centrilobular nodules with branching pattern multiple central level nodules with branching pattern it is called tree in bud appearance it indicates active tb then the next thing is the miliary tb you can see the randomly distributed nodules soft tissue density nodules 0.5 to 2 mm they are small nodules so they are randomly distributed in tree in bud appearance there's central lobular nodules with branching pattern but these nodules are randomly distributed so we call it miliary nodules which indicates hematogenous spread of tb so it's a char ct lung so that concludes pulmonary tb 
and please subscribe by our youtube channel then you will get notifications of our new videos thank you everyone thanks for watching please like and subscribe for more videos like this